Hi all, I am Hossein. I will be talking about evolving uh, RAM uh, secret sharing schemes uh, with a small gap, a joint work with almost uh, In this talk, we'll start by defining uh, evolving uh, secret sharing, then we'll present our results in evolving RAM uh, secret sharing, then we'll uh, present the ideas behind our constructions. At the end, we'll uh, summarize and present open problems in secret sharing, evolving secret sharing. Secret sharing schemes were first uh, independently presented by Shamir and Plekali in 79 uh, for the threshold case and by Eto Seto and Shazeski in 87 for the general case. In secret sharing, there is a dealer who holds a secret S. There is a set of parties whose number is known in the beginning of the scheme. The dealer applies a function on the secret and gives each party a share. So we say that uh, uh, an, uh, we define an access structure as a collection of sets of parties, and we say that a secret sharing scheme relies on the access structure gamma if the two following conditions hold. The first condition is the correctness. We say that uh, any set that is in gamma should learn the secret, and this is authorized set. The second condition is security. We say that any set that is not in gamma should learn nothing about the secret, and this is an authorized unauthorized set. In this talk, the secret is only one bit unless we mention otherwise. So next, uh, now we will define the threshold and RAMB secret sharing. Uh, three, uh, threshold access structure is defined as uh, all sets of parties of size at least a J. And the uh, threshold scheme in the correctness, we require that any set of size at least G can learn the secret. And for security, we require that any set of size less than g minus one get no information about the secret. So uh, the, the access threshold access structure is realized by the well-known Shamir's scheme, which in which the share site is order log n when the, the secret is one bit. RAM secret sharing introduced by Plekali models in 85. There are two parameters, B and G, where B stands for bad and G stands for good. In, re, in correctness, just like in a threshold this scheme, any set of size G should learn the secret. However, for security, we require that any set of size less than B should get nothing about the secret. And now we don't care about sets between, of size between G and uh, B and G, and these are don't uh, care sets. Uh, this means that uh, this means that uh, the RAM secret sharing does not fulfill uh, the uh, definition of the access structure that we mentioned. At some sets are uh, not authorized and not unauthorized. Uh, so RAM secret, RAM secret sharing introduces an improvement compared to threshold secret sharing. As the for some parameters. It can be uh, realized with share size order one, and for every parameter, uh, we can get share, shorter uh, share size. So next, uh, we'll define the model of evolving uh, secret sharing presented by Comrade Deskin and Oreo gave in 16. So as in standard secret sharing, there is a dealer who holds a secret S, and now in the evolving model, we don't know the number of parties in advance, and we don't have an and fixed up a fixed upper bound on 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 it. So parties arrive one after the other. When the party arrives, the dealer gives it it a share. When P1 arrives, it gets a share. It's one P2 arrives, it gets a share, and so on. When P1 million arrives, it gets a share, and this continues forever. An important requirement in the evolving uh, secret sharing is that the shares cannot be updated later. That means that once the share party gets a share, this share should be used in any time in the future in order to learn the secret. Uh, that means that the dealer does, doesn't need to worry about the previous parties and uh, when uh, generating the share of the current party and also doesn't need to know the number of the uh, upcoming parties. 
Uh, and uh, the access structure in the evolving model is defined as uh, a collection of finite sets of parties. Thus, for uh, correctness, we require that any set that is in gamma learn the secret. And for security, we require that any finite set that is not in gamma should get nothing about the secret. So what uh, motivates us to learn evolving uh, secret sharing as we don't know the number of parties in advance, uh, then we cannot use a traditional secret sharing as this traditional secret sharing require us to, let, to know the number of parties in the beginning of the scheme. For example, in Shamir's scheme, we had to know the num we know we need to know the number of parties in order to construct to 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 choose, choose the finite field that is used in the construction of the scheme. Uh, a trivial solution could be to update the shares from time to time. This can be very costly when the number of parties is large and uh, then the, each update, it's a single update can be very large. Therefore, um, we need to construct a new schemes to uh, realize the evolving uh, secret share. This is an interesting also when there are, uh, we have a fixed upper bound of the number of parties, but uh, for example, if we know that we have, we can have at most 1 million parties, but in real time arrive only 10, then we want to give these 10 parties smaller shares compared to what would they get if all the parties uh, join. Therefore, the uh, uh, learning, uh, studying evolving secret sharing is interesting. Next, we'll present a scheme for a threshold D2 and uh, the requirements and uh, correctness, any two parties should learn the secret and for security, any single party should get no information about the secret. So when party P1 arrives, it gets a random bit R1. When party P2 arrives, it, it gets two random bits R1 XOR S and R2 and party PT gets tier T random bits, R1 XOR uh, S, R2 XOR S, they up to RT minus one XOR S, and RT, the first T minus one uh, random bits are used to learn the secret joining with the previous parties, and the uh, uh, random bit RT is used to learn the secret uh, joining with next parties. So for correctness, uh, observe uh, parties PIPJ such so that I is smaller than J, then uh, a pi has the random bit ri and pj has the random bit ri xor s and therefore uh, from uh, xoring these bits they can learn the secret and for security each single party has independent random bits and from them he cannot get any information about this the share size of a party t is a t with a random bit and this is not the optimal scheme uh, now we are ready to present our uh, the previous results in evolving secret sharing. So there is a scheme for that related the general evolving secret sharing with share size uh, two to the t minus one. For k evolving k threshold for a constant k, there is a scheme that relies the, this uh, with the share size k log t. And for evolving majority, which is a various uh, variance of k threshold, which we define will define in the next slide. Uh, next slides, the uh, share size is order uh, t to the four log t. So now we are ready to present our results in evolving around the secret sharing schemes. So in our work, we uh, following a previous work, we consider a relaxation of evolving majority secret sharing. And in our work, we provide the efficient constructions for evolving gram when the gap is small. So the definition is evolving gram based secret sharing. So we have two parameters, uh, t over two, which is the correctness, and t over two minus ft, which is the security. So any bit t over two parties can learn the secret, and any two over any set of size at most t over two minus ft cannot get anything about the secret. Ft is the gap. So for example, uh, the t over four, t over two ramp secret sharing, here is a t over four is the gap. So the requirement in evolving gram based secret sharing for correctness, we require that a set, if, we, if a set has a for summit J, 
at least a g over two parts from the prefix of the first g part, then it should learn the secret. That means that uh, for, every given, uh, for every given time, we check how many parties arrived. And if the set contains uh, at least half of them, then uh, for some j, the, for some j, the list contains half of the parties uh, up to point j. Then we, okay, then we accept and this should, this should, set should learn the secret. For an example, uh, consider the set P4, P5, P6. Then it can, uh, we look at the prefix of the first six parties. This set contains uh, uh, three parties from them. And by the correctness condition, uh, the, this set should learn the secret. And for a monotonicity, also if we add the part P13, this set should learn uh, the secret. For security, we require that uh, if a set for every J contains less than J over two minus if J part is from the first J part, then it should learn nothing about the secret. For example, uh, for an authorized set, if you look at P at P16, then this set from the prefix of the first 16 parties, it contains say, only two parties, which is smaller than quarter of, of 16. And uh, from the prefix of the eight parties, it contains only one party, which is a co a smaller than quarter of two uh, of eight. And therefore the security condition holds for these two prefix. And we can see that holds for every prefix. And thus this set should learn nothing about the secret. An example for don't uh, care set. So uh, uh, the set P6, P7, uh, P8, it contains uh, three parties from the prefix of the first eight parties, which is greater than the quarter of it. Therefore, the security condition does not hold for this uh, prefix. And uh, this is not an authorized set. And we can see that for every prefix, this set contains less than half of the parties. And then uh, this is not authorized set. So we define evolving majority as the evolving gram with the gap if t equals one. In evolving majority, there are no don't care sets. Each set is either uh, authorized or uh, unauthorized. Okay, so previous results in evolving gram based secret sharing. Uh, as we said, the evolving majority is evolving gram with gap uh, one, the, we know that uh, there is a scheme that realizes the volume majority with share size t to the four log t. And there is a scheme with the, when the gap is uh, a constant fraction on t with share size uh, order uh, one. Uh, so uh, the motivation by learning evolving around the secret sharing so as we know, the evolving majority requires shares t to the four log t. The standard threshold schemes require share size log t, while the standard ramp scheme introduces an improvement compared to the threshold scheme and is realized by shorter share size when um, for some parameters is realized by order uh, share size order one. So we question if we can reduce the share size also in the evolving setting. And uh, by a previous work, we know that the answer is yes, we can. In our work, we uh, study this uh, ramp, uh, evolving gram for small uh, gaps. And uh, by studying evolving gram for small gaps, we can better understand the evolving majority schemes and therefore uh, we can get back and uh, try to uh, construct schemes for evolving majority, which is uh, the main uh, question. Okay, so uh, our contributions, we, we construct efficient evolving around the secret sharing schemes with a small, like, a small gap. So for uh, when the gap is t to the beta, for beta between zero and one, we show a scheme with share size is t to the one over beta minus one. So when we look at beta equals half, the share size is order t, and this is improvement compared to the evolving majority. However, if when beta is one over four, the share size is t to the seven, 
this is inefficient compared to the evolving majority. And therefore, uh, we uh, present our uh, second scheme in which the shared size is t to the four minus one over log square one over beta. That means that for every gap, the shared size is better than the evolving majority, since the exponent is smaller than four. This is an asymptotic uh, shared size, and if we analyze for a specific beta, we can bit get better shared size. For example, for beta equals one over eight, with the careful analysis, we can share get shared size a uh, two to uh, t to the two point three six. Uh, not, th not that our results apply for every uh, correctness function, which is a constant fraction of t, not only for t over 2, but for simplicity of our the scheme, for present presenting the results, we uh, could restrict them only to, to t over 2. We construct also a scheme for a constant uh, k, we show that for uh, when the gap is k over two and the correctness is k, it can be realized with shared size order log k log t. So next, uh, we are ready to present our results, uh, our ideas behind the, the constructions. So uh, we first start by a simple scheme for ramp the secret channel with parameters t over eight and t over two. So, in, we, di we divide the parties into segments. The first segment contains four parties, the second contains eight parties, and so on. The L segment contains two to the L minus one parties, and so on. So, the scheme is as follows. In each uh, segment, we share the, the secret by a three-shot secret sharing scheme with a three-shot, which is quarter of the, of the number of parties in that segment. So in the first uh, segment, we share by one out of four. In the second segment, the threshold is two. In the L segment, the threshold is uh, two to the L minus one over four, and so on. So in order to prove uh, correctness, we want to uh, give an authorized set. We want to show that uh, it contains a quarter of the parties of some uh, segment. So as you uh, consider an authorized set that ends in bar to PJ, then um, if there is some uh, if, if there is some segment uh, before the uh, segment A plus one such that the, such that um, the set contains co quarter of the bar to of that segment, then, then we are done. Otherwise, we conclude that the number of parties up to the to, to the uh, to part two to the l in that set is smaller than two to the l over four and since, since this is an override set it contains at least a g over two parties and um, and from the segment uh, l plus one it contains a g or at least a g over two minus two to the l over four and therefore, uh, since uh, j is greater than two to the l plus one, that this is greater than two to the l over four, which is uh, the required threshold in the uh, segment a plus one. Each uh, party gets uh, a share of Shamir's scheme, and uh, which is among uh, order t parties, and the, that the share size is order a log. Now we present a scheme for a smaller gap, which is a square t. So the scheme is as follows. We, uh, for every t equals uh, two to the L for some L in M, we run a scheme for parties P square t until party P two t. We will show this scheme in the next slide. And now, for example, when t is four, we run the scheme for, for parties P two until P eight and so on. When we have, uh, you bar, when for t equals u, we run the scheme from bar t square u until bar t to u, and when uh, uh, and so on. When we get when t is uh, u square, we run from bar t to, uh, p u until bar t p to u square. 
party PJ participate in order LOGJ schemes. Okay, so uh, we will next will show the scheme for one segment and this can be generalized for any segment. So the scheme is as follows. Uh, so the part is, is from square T until part T 2T. And uh, we, we define segments where each segment is, uh, starts from part square T and ends in different part. So the first segment ends in part T plus square T. The second segment ends in part T plus two square T. That means that we add square t uh, parties to the first segment and that and in each uh, in the third segment we add square t and so on each time we add the square t parties until we get the last party which ends in bar t 2t as we add square t parties each time we get uh, we have at mo uh, we have square t segments and now in each segment we share the secret by a threshold such that uh, by a threshold secret sharing such that the threshold is increased by square t over two each in each uh, from segment to segment since we add the square t parties. So uh, since we have square t segments and in each segment we run Shamir's scheme, the share size for each party is square t log t and do, since the smallest index is uh, square t, we get share size j log j. And uh, we, since we have uh, a factor of log j from the previous slide, we get uh, share size j log square j for uh, when the gap is square t. So we generalize these ideas to construct a scheme for every gap by two steps. In the first, we reduce the finite, the evolving gram into problem of realizing finite access structures. And then we show how to realize the, these finite access structures by segments technique and by tree technique. Due time, due time restriction, we uh, don't uh, mention details. They are uh, in the uh, paper. Okay, as a summary, we introduced and constructed efficient evolving gram uh, secret channel schemes for when the gap is t to the beta, for beta between half and one, the share size is t to the one over beta minus one. When the gap, be, when beta is between zero and half, the share size is t to the four minus one over log square one over beta. And also when uh, for a constant k, we showed a scheme for uh, with the share size log k log t, when the gap is k or k over two and the correctness is k. So open up problems, uh, interesting open up problems. We ask if we can improve the share size in the evolving secret sharing. As we know, the best upper bound we know is t to the four, while in the non-evolving setting is log t. So we ask if we can close this gap and uh, if we can also prove a lower bound in the evolving majority. We ask also what is the best share size we can get for evolving RAM and if we can improve our scheme. And we also uh, ask what is the best share size we can get in the evolving, uh, general evolving secret sharing. As the as the general evolving secret sharing considered uh, to be difficult than standard secret sharing, thus improving lower bounds could be easier. And th 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 this is an interesting problem. Thank you. That's it.